Hello there, my name is Smouse, and today we're going to be looking at how to make this kind of glass in Blender 2.8. You can see the results we're going to make here. I think it came out nicely. So, yeah, let's see how to do that. So, if you look at these uh, reference images we are looking at here, you can see that uh, this uh, transitions from, I think it's a hexagon. I'm not sure, I don't remember my geometry uh, very well, but uh, uh, it's a six sided figure at the bottom here, and they transitions into a circle a perfect circle here uh, but uh, it's kind of screwed or rotated around you can see how those edges and the silhouette is making there so that's what i was going for here as well you can see yeah and uh, that yeah so now to do that we can start with the base which is a six-sided figure so let's add a mesh circle make sure that that says are set to six uh, as we are creating a six-sided figure uh, it could be even eight but uh, let's for now just go with a uh, six and if I pause this pause 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 then go to edit mode and let's make sure I'm edit hit F and fill it in and then extrude in the z-axis to the height you want and now what we want to do is uh, subdivide this so that we have enough resolution to turn this uh, transition uh, this I will just call it a hexagon and into a perfect circle so I'm just selecting the top edge loop the, the top face I'm using out and then shift to select an edge to, to select a complete loop now subdivide right by right clicking subdivide and then increase the number of edge loops I'm just going to use about eight and uh, now what we want to do is uh, turn this into a circle, a perfect circle. So just selecting the top face. Uh, there is now a, a toolbar or a tool here. Previously it was just shortcuts. Let me see if I can find that because I'm used to using shortcuts. I think we should be able to find it either in the All that to say, I think it's this no? no I'm just going to use the shortcut but I remember look seeing uh, the, sh the tool here but uh, if you just hold down shift alt s and then one you can turn this into a perfect circle as you can see but uh, before we do that we also want to have a few subdivisions on the Z axis I like that and then maybe let's also rotate this screw this into uh, that so rotate this by 90 degrees to have that effect and then uh, by the way, make sure you have proportional editing turned on uh, so that when you rotate the selected faces uh, it influences uh, the rotation of the rest of the vertices uh, so turn on that and make sure that you have linear as your projection as your projection and then so rotate 90 degrees you can try 45 uh, for a different effect and now you can turn the, then we can turn this top face into a sphere so shift out s1 you can see it gives us that kind of shape but uh, if you look closely you can see that uh, this is the same radius the bottom uh, shape is the same radius as the top shape uh, so we need to make sure that that's the same and uh, so I'm going to split this into four views. Uh, so I'm using the shortcut Control Alt Q to toggle between a, a quad row uh, view and uh, a single view. So now I want this to match the same size. Remember, you have to have you need to have proportional editing turned on, and you can adjust the size as if I hide this you can adjust the size accordingly I think around around there should be okay so control alt Q switch so toggle back and this is what we have but uh, we have this issue here 
have this large end gone so what i'm going to do is just select it delete it and select this edge loop here then hit ctrl f to fill with a grid to fill it in with a grid but uh, actually that's not what we want right now let's first hit f then insert so that we add some geometry around there and then delete that edge then ctrl f grid fill have something like that uh, actually before we even do that glasses usually have this kind of bottom like that uh, so let's first remove this now now if we unpause let's see our glass we just have to give it the glass material so uh, i'm not using this principle bsdf it's a bit slower and that doesn't really give you uh, the best glass so i'm just going to use the glass shader connect that to the surface and that to make the glass more have more thickness and render with more thickness i'm just going to give it uh, a volume absorption and uh, this will make the depth of the glass look a bit colored uh, i'm just going to reduce the density a bit here make it a bit give it, a, give it some slight tint like you can see it doesn't really look like glass here and uh, that's because uh, the index of refraction is being calculated by the volume of the entire object including uh, the the entire volume of the object instead of just the walls of uh, the glass so it's treating this glass as in as a one solid object instead of uh, calculating uh, the index of refraction from uh, the thickness of the walls I think my glass is a bit too round around some edges here so I'm just going to turn the proportion in Okay, and scale this back in. And uh, you know what? Actually, I don't like how this is creating that kind of cone shape here, or uh, this uh, bulge here. So I'm just going to delete those faces. Just select this edge loop. Kind of proportion or anything and straighten that which i think now looks much better like that now to give it the thickness i need i'm just going to give it a solidify modify like that and uh voila. increase the thickness you can see how the glass is starting to come out Add an edge loop here because you can see the shading is a bit known to perfect here and uh, just bring that edge loop up like so then another thing we can do is uh, add a subdivision surface modifier i'll just use the shortcut ctrl 2 for that you can see what we have uh i think this might be an eight-sided figure instead of a three-sided figure. That's why the shape doesn't look as good here. Uh, instead of six, try using uh, eight and see. But I can see. Yeah. Uh, if you look closely at the glass, you can see that uh, there is some stretching going on here. Uh, that is also visible in this area. Uh, that's because of this end gone here, and uh, that's why I wanted to use. Let me first actually fill it in. And insert, delete, then use the grid fill option, and uh, that should get rid of uh, those stretching that were there. Now, let me increase the thickness a bit further, like that. And uh, glasses also have the bottom thicker than the rest of the wall. So I'm just going to, to do that, I'm just going to apply the solidify modifier. And let me turn off this for a second. And let me pause this render for a second as well. So that, because we select the 
the inside walls here. So uh, this inside wall is always thicker than the rest. Is a uh, a bit thicker, so it would start a little bit higher around here, like you see here. So to do that, I'm just going to let me also maybe just going to first hide everything else but the inside walls. Now we also need to correct this shading issue here. Now I think that's because some of these axes are intersecting, so I'm just going to delete those axes. Let me scale this in, slide that up to make it a bit smooth. And uh, I can select this edge loop and drag it up and uh, that should give us some thick walls, bottom wall here. So now if I turn on subdivision surface, you can see that we have but Yeah, I think this was eight sides, not just six, because I'm, I'm looking at the angle here. If you're looking at this straight, you're just seeing two angles here. But uh, if you're looking at this straight, you just you think three. So it means that uh, it must be in this shape, meaning it's uh, four, sorry, eight sides like that. So you can try this using eight sides and uh, see how that looks but uh, for now uh, if you want to make this a bit colored because you can see you can see a tint of color in that just give this a slight color uh, if you bring it too high it just make the entire glass color so just give it a slight tint and you start to see some color in the thickness again you can play with the absorption and to make the glass a bit thicker uh, if you want to okay for now uh, that's it and you can see how that looks yeah thank you for watching see you in the next video